Hi everyone, in this video I am going to share a life incident or a story of my dad who really struggled a lot and we used to stay in a 1 BHK apartment on rent when I shifted to Nasik and that was the time which was the most difficult phase of my dad's life. I was just 1 or 2 years old and I just wanted to share this entire experience so that even you get inspired and even you get motivated and I always capitalized on this strength itself because I never had to struggle any time during my life. I was always given a luxury of having a separate room during my CA finals leave period or getting a laptop, buying an iPhone etc. But I never had to go through that phase which he had gone in his life and that always kept me motivating. In one of my previous videos if you remember I had mentioned the fact that he used to invest in the stock markets and with the amount of capital gains or dividend income which he used to earn from stock markets he used to pay off his coaching fees of CA finals which is extremely inspiring and since he wanted to cut down on rental expenses of a flat which is extremely expensive in a tier 1 city like Mumbai he shifted to a hostel where his rental expense was almost one fifth of the expense of a flat in Mumbai at that point of time which was extremely convenient for him at that juncture. So he was trying to give his CA examinations but unfortunately he couldn't clear those examinations and then he decided that he'll just start his own venture or own business and at that point of time real estate was booming a bit and since he was always interested in the land and building market he thought that let's just delve into real estate. So the year 2000 we shifted to Nasik. I was one year old at that point of time and we used to stay in a 1 BHK flat in an area called as Ganga Purot which was taken on rent. At that point of time we didn't have the luxury to pay huge amount of bills or expenses and that's why we thought that in order to cut down the expenses we'll just shift to that area where the costs are cheaper and we'll just shift in a 1 BHK flat on rent. So me, my sister, my mom and dad used to just live in one room itself. So trust me that was a phase when you know like he just started his own business and he had this will of doing something and that's when he found out two partners he could start off his real estate business with of just buying plots of land and just redeveloping them and selling it to another person. It's as good as a business of let's say a real estate private equity guy where he's just buying an entire property turning it around and then selling it off for the capital gains it was that kind of a business and since he was always interested into land and building he thought let's try this juncture so at that point of time it was very difficult to borrow money even for electricity expenses medical expenses utility bills etc because banks will not give you loans for these kind of smaller expenses but today there are platforms like cashy where you can get instant credit of rupees 5000 within few minutes sounds interesting right this is a pre-approved credit available directly on whatsapp where you get rupees 5000 in a few minutes which you can use to pay off some smaller expenses like medical bills utility bills electricity expenses and all you have to do is just send hi to this whatsapp number which is mentioned here then you just have to provide your name as per the pan card well it's as good as telling your name to a person whom you're texting for the first time and once you tell your name cashy has an ai powered chatbot where they can just facilitate the entire kyc transaction once verified you will get a pre-approved credit of rupees 5000 instantly in fact, if you want a bigger amount, you can also download the Cashier app where you can get a secured credit up to rupees 2 lakhs. Well, this is just for salaried individuals. So what are you waiting for? Click on the link given in the description box, chat with Cashy directly on WhatsApp and get your pre-approved credit of rupees 5000 within few minutes itself. Well, coming back, when I asked my dad today that what is that one piece of habit which really helped you in order to become successful and in order to have a life which you always wanted to have. So he mentions that, you know, like this is a very small cliche habit of just maintaining your income and expenses on a diary since he was not tech savvy. He just gave me a simple advice. He asked me what is the amount of expenses I had incurred during the last month when I was in Mumbai and I was absolutely clueless because I had not mentioned or maybe I had not kept a record of all the expenses which I had incurred when I was in Mumbai. And I was like, Ki, kya farak hai? like if I'm just not documenting my expenses, how does it matter? And last month I just started documenting my expenses and trust me, I realized there were so many wasteful expenditures which I could have avoided and I just ended up paying them because of some or the other reason. And that that's when I thought that it's very important to document your income as well as expenses. And even if I go back home today in Nasik, my dad is such sort of a perfectionist. Well, he'll have entire records of all his income and expenses and that really helps him in order to track and manage his money. One of the most important money management tips which even I got from Rachna Ranade when I had interviewed her for my YouTube channel, she had mentioned the art of journalizing. Her mom used to give her pocket money and her mom used to ask her to write it in a diary that what are the expenses you have done and what is the cash balance at the end of the day. And gradually she realized that this is nothing but debit and credit because debit is what all the expenses which she was doing and credit is basically her mom giving her a pocket money. So basically these are some of the small things which really help you in order to track your day to day expenses and income and this might really help you in order to become a better human being. So basically to be fair and authentic I'll just show you some of the expenses which I had incurred during the last month itself. And this is a list of expenses which I've started keeping a track of from the last month itself after I had this conversation with my dad. So 11 July is the date when I started recording my expenses 
expenses. So 11th July, I was just coming back from Nasik to Bombay. So cab driver, I paid rupees three thousand. I had a breakfast with some of my friends. It was rupees four sixty. Then 13th of July, I had travelled to Pune. So I had paid rupees two thousand five hundred to Uber one side. I had done lunch for rupees six sixty. I had paid rupees two fifty for breakfast. I have paid rupees two thousand five hundred for the Uber driver from Pune to Mumbai. Then 16th of July, I just went out to, uh, for having lunch with some of my friends. It uh, ended up costing rupees one thousand two hundred. I went to a cafe. The coffee was around rupees three seventy. And on 18th of July, I had gone to Delhi. So this was because of my book, which I'm writing with Ishan Sharma. And we were just trying to interview some three four unicorn founders. On 19th of July, I remember I had gone to Institute of Chartered Accountants of India. And just diverging a bit from the topic, so I think that was one of the best moments of my life. It was like a dream come true moment. And you know, like I used to always receive the letter from ICI, and, and there used to be this address written as ICI Bhavan Indra Prastha. Mark New Delhi, and it really used to inspire me or maybe motivate me in order to give my best. And I used to dream as if what will ICI Bhavan actually look like if I go to Delhi. And it was always my dream to visit that place. And special thanks to Dheeraj Khandelwal sir who had invited me for lunch over there, and we had an amazing discussion about startups, etc. So there are a lot of events which ICI is organizing, and just kudos to this institute in order to just provide a lot of guidance and mentorship to all the aspiring entrepreneurs as well. After Delhi, I came back to Mumbai once again. Then I registered for WeWork about the virtual membership because I wanted to incorporate my company itself. And that's why I, I had to pay rupees three thousand per member per month because of the virtual registration. So a lot of them again rental expenses etc. So these are some of the expenses which really help me in order to understand okay where am I spending and the amount of income which I am earning whether that's sufficient enough in order to cater all these expenses. So on an average the rule of finance is that whatever is your salary whatever is your income you should ideally invest twenty to thirty percent or maybe forty percent initially in the stock markets or maybe anywhere else in order to generate some sort of return. This is the rule of finance that whatever is your salary whatever is Your income initially, you can invest up to 40 to 50 percent of your salary or income in the stock markets and bond markets, etc. And after a point of time, you need to ensure that whatever is the saving that is invested, just don't just keep it in fixed deposit totally, and don't just keep it in liquid cash because that's idle. That's not going to fetch you returns after a point of time. So try to ensure that whatever is your income, your expenses should be 20 to 30 percent of the entire income. 40 to 50 percent should go into savings, into stock markets, investments, etc. And the 10 percent can be in donations, and the remaining 10 percent can be in some emergency funds as well. So this should be the ideal allocation. Like just start donating some sort of wealth as well, right from the beginning. That's going to help you also, and that's going to help the entire economy in order to become a developed nation after a point of time. So my mom again, like she handles education of a lot of people in Nasik itself. There are some people, there are some students who are just giving their ninth, tenth examination, and they need some funds in order to complete their schooling, education. And my mom has started this initiative at a very small scale. It's my dream to just make it little big once I have some established amount of funds, etc. And let's see how it goes. I mean, it's just at the back of my mind that I want to scale. That up, and I want to cater to a larger audience after a point of time. So there was a person who went into IIT, and my mom had paid all his coaching fees, etc. And today he's working at Salesforce, which is like one of the renowned companies of the globe. The happiness, I think, it cannot be expressed in words; it can only be felt. And my dream is to just scale this after a point of time. So I think this is it about this video. You know, just try to document your expenses, document your income, have this uh, financial stability mindset that you need to start saving, you need to start investing, you don't need to spend your entire income. Otherwise, you won't be able to earn or compound your money after. a point of time so this was the entire video about that habit which really helps me in order to track my income and expenses and just document it and trust me once you start documenting it in your mobile phone or in an excel sheet or anywhere else you'll only realize what sort of expenses you are incurring and after a point of time you have to ensure that you lower down on the expenses which you're going to incur and just try to multiply your income so that you can become financially independent after a point of time well my definition of financially independent is extremely simple it's like when you're working for passion and not for money that's when i can say you are financially independent so if you're working for passion if you're working for pleasure then i think you will be able to become financially independent very soon so thank you so much for watching this video i hope this video was useful for all of you if you do like this video share it with all your friends and subscribe to my channel so that i can create more videos for all of you thank you so much for watching this video see you in the next video